Yo, 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 what's going on, man? What's good with you good people and stuff like that? How are you guys doing today, man? You're in the yo with your boy. Today, we're going to be live streaming um, a new, well, not new. Uh, I'm just now finding out about it, but we're going to be uh, uh, talking about demoing and uh, creating with this uh, online creation tool called Soundtrap. Um, whatnot. Um, I found out about this particular uh, music creation tool through a, uh, a client of mine, an uh, artist, and uh, you know, um, he had a family member that was uh, doing some um, some beats on there, or whatnot, and told me about it. Um, and so I'm doing some investigative uh, research on this uh, particular online creation tool, and I think it's pretty cool, man. Um, um, and we're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna push it to its paces. Uh, does it have, you know, what what it's missing, what it does have, and what it doesn't have um, that you can or can't find in a DAW um, or whatnot. So um, that's what we're going to be doing um, today. Um, um, I, I kind of played around with it before this video, um, just to get familiarized with it before I actually do a full-blown walkthrough with it and um i have to say i was kind of impressed of the uh of what you can do with it um i don't know the stability of it and you know like it's a you know something that's going to replace fruity loops or ableton live or personas hell to the no it won't replace that um but if you don't have anything but you want to learn and getting to get into music creation or some type of audio content creation tool um, this i think will be the way to go um and um you know saying so i'm gonna you know we're gonna talk about it today um before we get up into uh talking about soundtrap and stuff like that i just want to say thank you for all my supporters um you know what I'm saying um in the um, that that watch the channel you know support the channel check out certain things on the channel um and stuff like that that that's very gracious from the the bottom of my heart and stuff like that man um it's been a long two to three weeks um i took a vacation at the end of july and came back from vacation hitting the floor running 100 miles per hour so I had to take time to rest um because i've been i've been busy <laughs> <laughs> I went from vacation uh, to getting a puppy, you know what I'm saying, acclimated to his environment, uh, school shopping, getting kids ready to school, ready for school, uh, video projects, um, and I'm just now starting to slow down. Um, so we're going to get back in the groove of things and whatnot, but it did feel good to take a little break from, you know what I'm saying, um, applying pressure uh, to the YouTube channel and everything like that, man. Um, you know, it, it takes a lot to, you know, keep a YouTube channel going and stay consistent with it. Um, so, you know, what I'm saying I'm just glad to um, be back um, trying to create something um, for the channel or whatnot. Um, so um, if you come across the channel and you like a couple of videos that you stumbled across, um, feel free to subscribe to this channel. Uh, like a couple of videos on the uh, on the on the playlist, uh, live stream recaps, and also the breakdown. Um, the breakdown well, on playlist is just uh, it can, it's a, a collection of uh, uploads that I have done um, here on this channel as well. So feel free to you know what I'm saying like a couple of videos, watch, subscribe to the channel, and I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. God bless you in all your creation uh, endeavors and uh, blessings to you, man. Let's go ahead and get up into Soundtrap and what the hell this program is. All right, cool deal. So we got Soundtrap right up here and stuff like that. Uh, Soundtrap is just basically, um, it's an online creation tool that you can uh, create anywhere where you have uh, the internet is concerned and whatnot. Um, um, it's very minimal um far as this controls and as you can see screenshots of what's going on here um this is basically the layout what you're seeing you know you get a dark mode you get a light mode and everything like that um, you see that this um this particular online creation tool um is capable of midi um and also audio as well um and as i got um you know hip to what it was doing um it not only come with midi and audio but you have automation uh, capabilities you have uh, auto tune built in and um, you can access um, your sessions or projects on any device, which I think is uh, pretty cool. Not only that, you get um, built in effects with this um, and you can also incorporate loops and instrumentals, not only 
um, that's built into the app, but you can upload your own loops and uh, one shots and sounds and stuff like that inside of the app, which I think is pretty cool, uh, especially coming from an online um, uh, tool um, is concerned. And you also get the, like this pattern beat maker, kind of something like a piano roll. Um, you get a piano roll, of course, and you have this pattern beat maker type of deal. So, you know, the little Fruity Loops dots situation that a lot of people like to do you get that um type of feature as well um the good thing about this as well is you can collaborate with anyone um uh, from anywhere um uh, so let's say for instance you're traveling and you have a session that you pulled up um at the airport but you need uh, input from you know another collaborator um y'all can get together real quick talk about it add comments and everything like that and i think it's really really cool um not only that um they also open up a um uh, app for this uh, specifically on the um the apple devices or whatnot and you can also uh, let's say for instance you need to i don't know um uh, add some type of vocal over a, a particular instrumental you know what i'm saying you have the ability to do that with the capture it uh, type of um uh, app that they have it's called soundtrap the soundtrap capture app and um, you can add your vocals via your phone um, the microphone of your uh iphone or whatnot so uh not only soundtrap that's why they say it works with all devices your laptop ipad cell phone iPhone, um, everything like that. Android support is coming soon. Um, so that's a good little deal right there. Now, this is not only just for the music creator themselves. You can also have a podcast. So if you're a storyteller, audio book person or whatever, you're just getting into podcasting and you don't want to invest in all this equipment um, or, you know, saying invest into a doll and you don't know how to work a doll to its full potential or even 50% of the uh, potential of a DAW. Uh, I think Soundtrap would be really, really cool for you because um, the ease of using a, a phone microphone that's integrated with your phone or a USB microphone. You plug your USB microphone in, recognize that particular device, and then you start talking um, and doing your podcast and also bringing in guests if you have to. Um, so um, it has the capabilities of that. And um, they have this nice uh, transcript, uh, transcript tool that's built in as well. So it'll detect the words coming from your audio, which I think is pretty cool as well, man. Um, and, um, you know, you can add, uh, this will give you ability to add your own music in there, create your own music, and then do a voiceover or talk. And also you can push this directly to Spotify podcast. Um, if you have that particular platform set up with Spotify as well. So I, I think this is really, really awesome. And by the way, Soundtrap is also curated and created from the company Spotify. So Soundtrap is a Spotify company. Uh, so I can see the why they want to push the podcasting situation right there because, you know, Spotify has their own podcasting uh, platform as well. Um, not only that, um, if you're a music educator out there and you teach a music education course, whether it's college, high school, or middle school, um, and stuff like that, uh, which I've been trying to, I've been applying everywhere. So if you're a music educator out there and you need a person to teach online tools and audio tools and stuff like that, holla at your boy, man. But um, you can use this as a online recording studio inside the classrooms um mo a lot of classrooms nowadays um they're getting very very technology um the, the technology in the side of the classroom is getting very advanced and it's allowing a lot of these students um that wants to learn how to do technical things um in the uh in the education environment um this is a very very good tool to use to teach students basic recording uh, techniques and uh, opportunities and whatnot. So this is a real good student teacher uh, platform. Um, it allows students to hop on and they don't have to necessarily be in the classroom. It could be also a remote tool as well. So I really, really love this program for what it's, it's, it's marketing to. Um, and I think that's really, really good that they have the education aspect on this particular uh, uh, on this particular product right here. So, you know, as they say, you know, you can explore creative sound uh, making, not only just making sounds, but also teaching people how to create podcasts and do audio books um, type of work and stuff like that. Anything audio um, Soundtrap is capable of doing. And as you can see right here, uh, examples of host and guest 
recording audio, learning how to cut things, move them, uh, join audio clips and everything like that. Also the transcription uh, situation or whatnot. So um, this is really, really good. And um, you know what I'm saying? I, I, didn't, I didn't know Spotify had such a thing out there for this. And I think this is really good. So, you know what I'm saying? You can teach literacy with this, music, um, world, edu uh, world language education with this. Um, sometimes if you need to do some type of science um, situations with it, you can. Tech and business and also math, man. So any way you need to utilize music or audio in a sense of teaching look at the soundtrack really really cool man um and the last thing i'm gonna talk about this is co uh collaboration so um you can see here that they have justin made it um uh, you know or justin made um or whatnot um i guess he's a you know paid endorser of this particular platform but they have some loops and sounds from um jetson the producer and everything like that so um just to get you excited about you know utilizing their 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 um their program um or their online tool here um but the collaborative side of things is that you can invite people inside of your session as you can see on this screenshot right here um you can have three four or how many ever people that you're allowed to um per um uh, your your subscription plan or whatnot and you guys could talk um i think you guys could talk uh via chat um live and stuff like that you know what i'm saying so i think that's also a real good tool you can also put notes on certain sections of the sequencer um, when you're creating it as well man so um, uh, like I said, man, uh, this, this is pretty cool and we're going to put it through its paces today. Last but not least, we're going to talk about pricing. So, you know, as always, subscription, subscription, subscription. That's the world we live in today. Um, if you can't afford the yearly, um, which is uh, roughly if you want the, the, the big dog package, you know what I'm saying? I like to call it. Um, it's $13.99 a month. You do the math. Uh, that'll add up to $167.88 you'll pay today um, if you want to be billed yearly. So if you're um, in in some type of longevity program, whether it's education or a business or a podcast or an audio company or something like that, um, you, yearly, if you have the budget, you know, saying go ahead and get it yearly. Uh, you know what I'm saying? A little bit less than $175. You can't beat that. That's actually a cheap price, to be honest with you. I was expecting more from a, pro uh, a program like this, um, but this is not bad. You know what I'm saying? Um, and with the Big Dog package, you get unlimited projects, um, over 20,000 loops, um, and close to um, 1,000 instruments and sounds, 150 thousand something uh, sound effects from freesound.org um, you get auto tune time restore um, I think that may be like um, uh, I don't quote me on what time restore is but I'm thinking that's kind of like uh, um, you can recall projects or whatnot I, I'm not exactly sure I, I don't know I don't know what time restore is because they don't have a question mark to explain that but I'm thinking it's just probably maybe uh, if you you lose internet, it'll pull back up your project or whatnot. Um, you get automation, remote interviews, which is basically kind of like uh, doing um, uh, online collaboration right there inside of the program while both of you are online in the same program. Uh, priority mixing, um, I think this is where the program will try to automatically mix the session for you. I'm not exactly sure on that, but I think that's what that is. Um, don't quote me on that. You get interactive transcripts for your podcast, for you podcasters out there, eight hours of transcripts, uh, high quality downloads, which probably means a 24 bit type of wave file. You can publish your podcast straight to uh, Spotify and uh, you get uh, Soundtrap original and also expansion packs, which the expansion pack is probably just made it, all right? It's free, absolutely free. So you can use this program absolutely free with unlimited projects, but there are some limitations on um, the loops and everything like that. But you know, you see the uh, four tiers of uh, subscription plans right there and everything that entails with that. So just go to soundtrap.com and you can read that in detail for yourself. Um, monthly, you know what I'm saying? Monthly, this is a little bit more, um, but it's not, you know what I'm saying? Between the yearly and the monthly billing, being billed monthly, $10 a month, $15 a month um, between music makers or podcasters. So if you're a podcaster, you probably will benefit from the red if you're a beat maker, you'll benefit from the purple, but there are going to be some differences. And I see the only difference is podcasters, you get the transcripts and the Spotify publishing. If you're a music maker, you don't get that. Okay. But if you want everything just for 
shits and giggles or whatnot, pay the $18 a month and some change and you're gonna be good. And actually with tax, that totals out to a little bit over 20, um, excuse me, $19. So with tax, that'll come out to like $19 and some change because I'm doing a trial on this right now. All right, cool deal, man. Um, if you're in the education ramification of things, you got a budget for your ISD or your school district or whatever the case may be, um, you know what I'm saying, depending on how many seats or um, people that needs to access this program. Um, you see, if you slide this, let's say you got um, 4,400 students, um, that's the cost right there, $26,967 per year to have 4,000 something students do that. But in this situation, if I was the IT administrator and um, we have a school district saying that, hey, I need to, I wanna implement a music education program and you know you're gonna have, um, you won't, um, let's say 100 students to be in this program, you can set that to 100 students right there and that particular um, budget from the school district for the IT men to go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, put this in place, you'll pay um, $684 a year. Um, depending on how successful this is, you can keep on going and let's say you uh, two, uh, 100 more students are interested in there, you go up to 200, boom, it'll up to that right there, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I, I think this is a pretty good tool like I said, man, and um, we're gonna now go ahead and go through the performance paces of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in um, to here and uh, we're gonna get busy. Uh, so you do have a login. Uh, I think I am logged in under, I'm gonna say this right here. I have to double check that. No, I am not, no, wrong login. Uh, let me get out of here real quick. Uh, let's see here. I think I logged in under this one. Yeah, because of my Spotify account. All right, cool deal. So um, here we go right here. So this is the login, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and delete this project. So this is what it looks like uh, when you first get into here. Um, and let's change the view of this for you guys real quick. All right. All right, so uh, this is the view that you're gonna get right here for as uh, you know the project and everything like that. You will get some four templates um, based on genre. So you have a R&B template. Hollywood effects template, dance hall template, and Indian dance and electronic template, okay? Now you can create your own project, you know what I'm saying? Straight from scratch um, and everything like that by hitting this plus button. And once you do that, what it's gonna do is generate the uh, the, the workspace area. And um, you can either choose music or you'll choose podcast. Um, and I think it'll probably orient the workspace according to what you're trying to do, okay? Or you can click over here and you can get some demos. So you have a lot of different demos um, that you could check out as well, you know what I'm saying, um, or whatnot. So in this case, man, uh, what I want to do is, uh, I'm gonna show you guys the demo uh, first, uh, just to give you guys a sense of what's going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of here. All right. Now these are messages. So these are messages when you're, you know, saying working with people and um, for the collaborative side of things, you can have messages in here as well. Um, also, you can have all your podcasts listed. Um, and I, that's probably it, it differentiates what you're going to do when you're creating a project for its music or podcasts and all of those podcasts that you create will probably end up right here and also you have a learning portal as well so they just want to make sure that you understand how to you know say work their their program and i think this is really really cool shout out to soundtrap for having a learner portal portal on this particular platform right here so we're going to go back to projects and i'm going to kill this background music here all right, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up this R&B project right here, just so you can understand and we can break that down and then we'll create some. So there's gonna be a long video right here, long stream as I possibly can. I got somewhere I need to be um, at one o'clock. So we're gonna try to clean this up and get, and get to the business. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose that R&B uh, template and you can see it's loading up right now. Um, it's gonna give you a little breakdown of what's going on in this, um, in this particular template. Um, and stuff like that, describing the beat and everything. Um, the sound pack includes 90 loops, four drum kits, five instruments, and one demo project, which is what we have right here. You hit get started and you can get in here and you can kind of mix and mangle it and use this as a learning tool, okay? Um, so just basically checking it out. Uh, looks like we have um, anywhere to, 
look like about 15 tracks, 16 tracks or something like that. And um, these red situations look like audio. And we got a lot of audio tracks in here. Um, and then we got a little MIDI track right here. So if we was to hit play, uh, we're definitely gonna hear what's going on. Let's check it out. All right, let me change something real quick. Uh, <laughs> I had to uh, make a change to something real quick, y'all. All right, I had the audio playing in the room for a second. <laughs> so my apologies on that. I get it on. Wait a second. Where the second go? All right, I think we're ready to go. All right, let's see if we get some action here. So that is the demo right there, man. Sorry about the sound technical uh, technical difficulties because we're working with this in in um, in Chrome uh, Chrome browser. You got to make sure. Uh, so uh, this is a good uh, teacher tool right here. All right. So this is not a DAW and it doesn't work like a traditional DAW. Uh, so you have to make sure that your computer sound card is on whatever your interface is, whether it be you know a headphone um, sound card or uh, interface or whatnot otherwise it's gonna take whatever sound card that was plugged in lastly so i'm in a kind of like a studio environment um at work here um and uh, it was reading um the room system so i had the music playing blasting or whatnot that's why it sounded like it was picking up through the microphone so i had to change it to the interface that i'm talking on right now so that is important make sure your sound source is uh, selected correctly on your pc um, and then you should be good. Okay. Um, and, uh, all right. So let's talk about the sound. How do you hear stuff coming out of here? All right. Uh, I just explained it to you. Make sure that your sound is choose uh, appropriately, um, on your PC. So as you can see, I'm using the revelator, uh, personas Re revelator IO 24 interface. So I have the virtual output a, uh, so I can utilize streaming and also the audio from this particular program. All right. Cool deal. Um, you have a master volume section uh, selector right here. Um, um, this master volume, you could turn this up or down for us, the output of the particular uh, DAW, I like to call it on the online creator, uh, online uh, program, okay? Um, and it has like this, uh, and I'm gonna play it back right here. And you can see like this audio meter that's playing here. 
And you can see that purple line moving and whatnot. Um, I, I think I love the color, that purple and the, you know what I'm saying? I love the color, it's a vibe, bro. All right, cool deal. Um, so that's the audio right there, all right? Um, what I like to do uh, when I'm, you know, saying breaking down a, a program and going through a demo and everything like that is go through this, the, the settings at the top, you know? So the file settings, I'm just reading. Um, you can create a new open up projects, uh, open up a previous version. You got to save, save as you can revert. So I'm thinking that's kind of like a undo button. Maybe, um, you can also export. Now this is a real, real important thing. Cause I had to deal with this with the, uh, with the client of mine and his, uh, and his, uh, associate producer there. And, um, you can export this project out mp3 wave aug file or midi file however um you don't get the 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 luxury of doing stems out so if you need to export stems out you're probably going to have to solo um each track and then stem it out uh, one by one manually that's going to suck um or whatnot so um or I think you could share the entire project and whatever you did inside the project, it may pull up. I'm not exactly sure, so don't quote me on this, but I know for sure if you're gonna export waves and you want audio stems out of your project, you're probably gonna have to export either MP3 or wave, solo each track each time. So if you have 16 tracks, you're gonna have to export 16 different times and make sure you solo each track that you want to stem out. <laughs> so um, they didn't think about the stemming aspect because like I said, this is it. This is this operating on a, uh, on a Chrome browser. Okay. Or whatever internet browser that you're using. Um, you can import sound. So um, like, let's say for instance, I had some music on audio. If I wanted to input, import this beat, you know what I'm saying? I can, and we're going to try that out uh, here later on. You can import, let's say um, you work with a producer on, you know, in another studio in LA, you flew home to Atlanta and you kind of want to do some scratch vocals on there until y'all can get back in the, uh, in the studio together. You can import the beat that y'all worked on and then do some scratch vocals and then send that back to him via WAV file. Um, so that's what the import function means. For a sharing project, I just hit share project and now I can send a link to the online project that I'm working to to the particular person and then we can collaborate right there. Um, so it's kind of like that's your work away around, but it's still, if you want your audio, they can pull up the session, not a problem. But if you want your audio to be committed to a disc, you definitely gonna have to hit export, choose your audio format and then solo each track. 16 different times or whatever how many ever tracks you have okay so that's the file section right there okay um you can go to your profile from here uh edit um you uh, actually you know what i don't know what i said revert was probably undo but i may stand corrected on that um until i can get some clarification on that um you do have um edit so let's say for instance we make a uh, a move here we can hit edit and undo that modification there. We have a redo. You can add comments. So let's say for instance, right here, we can add a comment and I'm gonna say this thing is fire. Okay, let's see what happens here. All right, so that's me adding a comment right here. So you can see that comment there. If I was collaborating with someone else on this particular track, they add their comment. That's fire. I like that. That's that's really thoughtful right there. Um, you can split regions. So let's say, for instance, we take this cursor right here and we want to split this region um, because we have four bars here. You just go here. Um, now you can right click. You have right click options. That's awesome. And so you're getting more of a doll feel. But um, if you're a person and your your brain operates, you know, saying I got to hit the edit button and go here, just hit uh, split region boom if i hit control z as a shortcut it'll undo it you know what i'm saying and you have uh keyboard shortcuts by each command i like that function as well all right we got a lot of check marks going on no red flags okay cool um so we can go here and we can hit edit uh you gotta select you gotta click on what clip or object you want um you can split the region you can merge regions i'm quite sure if you want to merge regions you can mute this whole region. So that one clip that we have highlighted here, we hit edit and we can just mute that out. That's pretty awesome. I like that. Um, very, very thoughtful on that. You can unmute it, uh, still click on it, hit edit. Now you can cut it out completely. 
you can copy it and then paste it uh, or you can delete it cut and delete is almost the same thing or you can auto tune it just depends on if it's audio or not so um let's try to find something that has some, um god doggone vocals in here i heard something that has some vocals in here let's see here yeah now that that particular vocal has a lot of uh, uh a lot of effects on it or whatnot i'm not exactly sure if it's a uh um it's a uh, uh something on the track itself um, or whatnot but let's we clicked on the track and i don't see anything so that must be a a loop that was uh imported into this particular um uh, uh, session right here but if we go to edit we have this selected um, we can go to auto tune and we bring up auto tune here and let's say i want uh heavy auto tune on here a lot of people are going to either hit this one or this one uh, we could check uh all notes or you could choose if you know the key of the song you could choose it whatever you know what I'm saying rather it's a major key or a minor key they give you everything that you need so in this case we're going to just use the chromatic situation and hit save let's see what happens it's going to analyze the audio auto tune it and then it's probably going to go ahead and convert that one particular audio let's see if there's any image or graphic change on this particular clip so we have 45 percent you are it's telling you that your audio has been automatically tuned use the undo button to take off the auto tune so that's really really cool right there so let's play that right there at the ninth bar let's hit auto uh solo I can't really hear it because it's, it's so heavily uh, affected, but I just wanted to go through the paces and everything like that. Now we're going to say what they said, hit undo. So we're going to go here and we're going to hit undo solo and we're going to hit undo solo on and we're going to hit undo auto. And all right, so it went through. All right, cool deal. So that's basically, um, you could create a region uh, looks like it um, underneath uh, edit uh, you can create region or create a rhythm or you can change the pitch so uh, I like where you can change the pitch so if this is like a vocal clip or a vocal one shot you can go on edit and change the pitch so you can pitch it down so let's say for instance we wanted to pitch it up let's say uh, eight uh, semitones uh, it's going to analyze that audio do what it do and uh, we're going to play it back from that ninth bar and see what happens now everything i'm doing on edit i'm assuming 90 percent sure that if you right click on the sound clip or the audio uh or the object you will be able to have the same situation so we pitched it up eight uh semitones let's see what happens here i like that i like that That's pretty awesome. I like that. All right, cool deal. All right, so we're gonna right click, hit undo, and uh, yeah, uh, hit undo one more time, and hit undo one more time, hit undo, and hit undo. There we go. All right, so we just took off the, uh, you have to hit undo until you can remember what command that you told it to do. So we took the pitch off. All right, cool deal. I'm gonna go ahead and unsolo that. And uh, that should take care of everything with the edit section, okay? So you can opt, you can uh, access edits three different ways. Right here at the top left corner, hit edit, all your edit tools there. Or you can right click on your clip, you can have all your edit tools there. Or if you highlight your mouse cursor over the clip, you see edit there and you can do some edits. So now you can name these clips. You can fade it in, fade it out. You can reverse it, auto tune it. Um, you can transform the voice. Um, so these are kind of like special pre-made uh, presets for voice pitching and everything or you could change the pitch manually or you can add whatever you record into the program you can add it to your own user loop library uh, so that's a little different actually let me take that back there's two ways you can edit the edit function clicking up here or right clicking on the clip itself with edit it's a little different but um let's say you want to add that clip you know you can change the name of that particular region or clip or whatnot all right so that's that right there let's talk about settings all right 
so you have MIDI settings. Um, you can see here I have a uh, little travel size keyboard, uh, Novation Launch Key Mini. All right, and um, if you want to play your own keyboard in here to make beats um, for all my beat makers, um, you can hit MIDI um, settings, and um, it's going to pop up with an external keyboard graphic um, as far as your MIDI is concerned. And how many ever keyboards you have connected to your computer, you can choose the appropriate. Um, uh, MIDI uh, MIDI driver in this case is going to be launch key mini mark three and we hit OK and I don't have any external instruments uh, pulled up um, in here, but you can uh, play your instruments um, Directly in here and we'll do that here pretty soon. Okay um, You have a tuner you have a built-in tuner. So once uh, let's say for instance, I want to tune. Okay um, I could talk here and love what you think of my love. So this song is probably in C minor. What you think about love? I'm in tune. I'm in tune at C, okay? <laughs> C. C. B. Yeah, you go. So you got to learn how to tune your voice. All right, cool deal. So it's picking up the microphone. That's really, really good right there. All right, now you can merge tracks. Um, you got keyboard. So this keyboard music typing, you can use your keyboard, uh, uh, your computer keyboard, in order to trigger some of the sounds that are built in here. Your sound quality, you can choose how much sound quality you want to do. Uh, monitoring. Um, is not available. So if you have one of those interfaces that have built in monitoring or latency free to monitoring, I highly recommend you use that um, as well. Um, your podcast tools, you can turn transcript on or off. You can choose languages and also your theme, which is dark theme or light theme. Lastly, but not least, you have tutorials. So of course you have the learning portal um, for shortcuts to access that as well. You have undo and redo shortcuts here at the top. You have a button that you can save. So any changes that you make, you can do these changes as well. And you can also check out some of the previous versions that you do. All right, cool deal. We almost finished with this walkthrough here. Um, you, this is the name. So if I want to rename this and make it my own, I can, um, you can switch between your theme here. You can do the export again. I told you guys about the export. You can, uh, export this whole project as an MP3 wave or AUG or MIDI file. But however, if you want stems of the, each individual instruments that you create and record, you're going to have to solo those each track and export it 16 different times. So if you have 16 tracks in this particular session on this platform soundtrack uh, and you want audio stems, you're gonna have to solo each track export it 16 different times. I'm reiterating that because, you know, that's an important question, all right? Um, and also you can start here and you can share people. So if I want to invite somebody to the session that I'm working on, I just simply uh, put their names in. If I know they already have a Soundtrap account or I can put their email in, invite them into here and we get it cooking. All right, cool deal, man. Um, also too, um, look in here, you have a snap to grid button here. Uh, look like you have uh, some layout settings here so you can change um, the grid size um, based off of how you zoom in and zoom out. You can change time signature and also change the ruler type. Uh, so if you need to choose um, beats or time, you have the ability to do so right there. All right, and cycle mode. Oh, okay, so this is your loop button. They call it cycle mode, but this is actually your loop on and off. So if I wanna loop the intro in this first verse i set up my little uh left left cursor and the right cursor which went away from my screen so let's scroll over here and uh let's say i want to loop it from the intro to the first verse you'll see that right there that little gray shaded um situation right there all right you can turn it on or off if it's on it's going to be great uh shaded gray if it's off it's going to go back to the uh the darker uh, it's gonna blend into the theme, okay? Um, this button right here for is uh, these musical notes over here. This is where you could add in loops. I um, mean, these are built-in loops. So I'm not exactly sure if Spotify teamed up with Splice or Sounds.com or whatnot, but they give you a lot of loops in here that you can add in here and do your thing um, when you, on the beat making side of situations. Or if you are an artist and you just wanna 
seeing something and have something somewhat original um and when you're losing when you're using lips you don't when you're using loops and you're an artist and you're doing all this loop stuff and whatnot you don't necessarily own those loops fyi but you could put something together uh in order for you to you know sharpen up your songwriting skills and everything like that so um this um this is what they call a uh um let's see a, uh uh, these little musical notes right here you click on that and you can pull up your loops um, and stuff like that okay uh, so click on the music uh, music note and you can pull up your loops okay got different genres in here this looked like the Justin made um, expansion pack and he has he has quite a few loops in here all right cool that's pretty that's pretty hot and it's categorized under song sounds and hip-hop okay uh, that's the loops right there and right here is your collaborators right here so um, if you wanted to do a video call you can do that so you can actually do video chat while you're playing the song and working on it live and direct that's that's pretty awesome I did not recognize that so you can do um, video call and I think you can do a little bit of chat in here as well so that's the coll collaborator button right there um to zoom in and out so let's say based on where your cursor is you're in, in the middle of the first verse right here right here at the bottom right you have a zoom in button um magnifying glass and then you have a negative magnifying glass to zoom out okay so that's easier said than done um of course you have your you know your slide bar right here to get where you need to get at in the session okay so that's basically it let's look at the control as far as the tracks is concerned um right here you could choose the different tracks all right so let's say for instance this track right here i want to add some eq um i have to hit click on this um this little graphic icon right here that'll pull up what the track is so this is an audio track all right so um look like they have a voice preset that's already on here but let's say for instance i want to add an effect if you have that big bundle um, the complete bundle um you can add guitar effects which are categorized in purple in pink you have more of your modulation effects so you auto pan auto wild chorus flanger phaser rotary stereo chorus tremolo and uh, vibrato uh, more of your spatial um and time base uh, your spatial and time base effects you until you have a 3d um effect um you have a delay you have a room reverb you have a slap delay and you have a stereo delay shout out to that one viewer i see you big shout out to you um so um the the teal color is going to be more of your time base and spatial effects um more of your dynamic um and eq effects are going to be in this uh, orange looking color so it looks like you have a one knob brightener which is probably like a uh a high shoving uh eq um that's on a fixed frequency um, you have a fixed compressor, a one knob compressor. Um, but if you want to do your own type of compression, they give you a full blown compressor. Um, looks like you have a 10 band EQ here. Uh, looks like you have a two band uh, filter for as a low cut and a high cut. You have a parametric EQ. Uh, and this karaoke mode, I'm not exactly sure what the hell that is. Um, <laughs> but um, looks like you could take the bass out of the song. I, I, I'm assuming so. Uh, I haven't really played with it, but um, you have a karaoke effect, and then you have a volume effect, which basically is kind of like a gain knob. Uh, so you have some really good basic effects to get you started in uh, this particular program. And right here at the top, you have these already pre pre-made presets for whatever sound you're working with. So if you have a voice or vo a vocal one shot or whatnot. You can click on here and based on what you're working on, rather it be a keyboard sound, synth sound, string, guitar, brass, or whatever the fuck it is, um, you can choose those presets and it uh, has a presets for you. So let's say for instance, this uh, the track I clicked on is a vocal track. Um, I hit vo voice or mic and then I could choose clean computer mic enhancer. So if you were operating off of a computer mic because you're doing a podcast, you might want to choose computer mic enhancer and then all these other situations so if you're doing um let's say for instance you're rapping on an instrumental inside a sound trap um and you want a cool ad lib effect you may want to choose lo-fi rap preset on the ad lib so um this is stuff that you have to get in here and really kind of learn i'm not going to go through all of that shit today um but i will experiment later on or whatnot so that's how you pull up getting to the effects on the track you have to click on this little 
um, icon all the way to the left of each track and that'll pull up your fix window, so to speak. All right, there's no full blown mixer on here. All your mixing um, for us turning up, panning are gonna come from the sides right here. So in this case, let's choose this one, okay? All right, so when we choose, let me choose. For some reason, every time you click on that, you can't. Yeah, so if you click on this, it's always gonna open up the effects thing. But if you click inside the the sequencer or the arrangement and arranger, you select each track. So it's probably easier just to click on inside the arranger. That way you don't have the effects session pulling up um, or whatnot. But we're gonna say we're on here. So this R is basically telling me that it's enabled and it'll disable record mode for this track. So if I wanted to record vocals on here already, let's uh let's let's give it a trial run for a second. It's giving me a countdown at the top. She gonna be my love. Oh yeah, yeah. Now until forever. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go. Cool. I'm just bullshitting around, man. But it recorded my vocal, uh, my vocal from uh, my la uh, lapel mic here. All right, so let's uh, solo that and see what the fuck we did. <laughs> um, let's see it play and see what happens. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, so that's horrible. <laughs> uh, but let's let I mean this is a real good teaching tool um so let hit uh edit here and uh let's say I want to auto tune that okay we'll hit auto tune let it do what it do um I think this is going to be C because I did the uh the auto tuner thing earlier I'm going to go and hit C minor I'm going to give it right there and then uh not heavy but a little bit heavy hit save it's going to analyze that little audio clip and uh, we're gonna see if we got some audio, uh, some auto tune on that vocal. All right, um, let's hit the back button. Oh yeah, yeah. I hit auto tune. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, right, man, I fucks with that. That's 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 not bad. That's not bad auto tuning. It's not exaggerated, but it's just a little bit of whatnot, just to keep you in tune. Uh, that's pretty cool. I like that. So what we did was we hit the edit little, the little edit icon on the audio, and we chose auto tune, or we could have just right clicked on it and like this and hit auto tune. So many different ways you can get to auto tune, as far as that is concerned. Now, if we wanted to trim off that beginning. Or whatnot you have to zoom in a little bit and then you can trim it off like that um, um and stuff like that so if you want to work like if you're in the real doll um you can go here and you can right click on that audio split region there come here with your cursor and split region there and now you can backspace take that out all right and you can play that back right there oh yeah yeah Oh no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> y'all don't y'all don't laugh at me. So you see how it's abruptly cutting off? So let's say you want to do some fades. Okay, there's two ways you could probably do fades. Um if you hit edit, you want to do a fade out, boom, there it is. Now you see how exaggerated that fade is? I just want to fade out the uh the little portion, the back portion of that. So you uh, these little white dots on the top of the uh the audio clip that you select. That's a little fade. So you can do a little fade right there and you can do a little small fade in the beginning. That way your audio doesn't get cut off so abruptly. That's for you podcasters out there as well. All right, so if we hit play. Oh yeah, yeah. See how smooth it is when it's coming in and coming out? Oh yeah, yeah. So that's pretty good right there, man. Uh, let's see what else this thing does when you hit the edit button. Uh, we can reverse this. So let's go ahead and reverse this, see what happens. All right, let's go, go here. Hey, hey, all right, cool. So you got to revert. If you want to undo that, just hit the undo button and you'll see the audio flips back into its original state uh, with the quickness. Um, I'm very, very surprised at the stability that this thing is operating at on a Chrome browser um, on a guest Wi-Fi. I'm not at a home network Wi-Fi. I'm on a public domain Wi-Fi and this, the, the, the 
the performance and the stability of this program is is very shocking in a good way because this is this is performing really really good uh, i have to say um so um you be, we did the we did the reverse we did the auto tune um let's say for instance uh i want to have a baby voice transform the voice um that they ain't nothing basically but pitch uh, pitch changing but i'm gonna choose the baby preset so what it's gonna do is analyze that I'm probably gonna pitch it up like crazy um and this is what we'll get oh yeah yeah damn that's actually sound pretty good let's let's put that in there oh, yeah, yeah. all right cool dude i like that <laughs> so um let's say you want to keep that or whatnot you see how loud it is though um i don't think this program has what they call clip gain or 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 object gain um a lot of different programs or daws they have their own name for it but i'm used to clip gain i don't think this has clip gain uh, i'm gonna check the edit section as well so you would probably have to take this and put this on a, its own uh, audio track. So we can add a new track down here at the bottom. And I'm just gonna do, let's say, uh, I'm gonna choose like voice and microphone. All right, and so it's trying to force me to record something. I don't want to do that, all right? But it gave me this vocal track. So um, I can just hold down right here on this track, right here where my mouse cursor is, left click hold, and just drag it up underneath there and put this track right here and what I recorded down here. And when I click here, now I can go here and it's still trying to force me to record, but I can turn that down, unsolo it, and play it in the beat. Hello. So that's pretty good right there. Of course, we're not in the studio doing anything, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make this um, this one a baby effect as well, just to give it some consistency there. All right, go ahead. All right, so you see the fade and everything. I'm basically doing some basic uh, audio vocal editing here. Um, if I click on this, uh, what I want to do though is take this damn mic off. Um, looked like it recorded my Logitech mic and not the mic here um, and everything like that. So let's do this real quick. Uh, let's take this mic right here and uh, we're gonna redo this right here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, cut this and we're gonna try that again. All right, so we have the microphone coming from here. Maybe we'll get a better, better vocal recording. So we're gonna go ahead and hit record. Um, it's gonna do a volume check. Test one, two, three. One, two, three, four. All right, so we're pretty good right there. All right, we can hit done. All right, and it's gonna tell me, here we go. She gonna be my love. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now forever. No, no. No, 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 no. All right, cool. There we go, right there. <laughs> so, uh, now that we have done that and everything like that, uh, we got some reverbs here, uh, some basic effects that they'll give you. I'm gonna turn that reverb down, um, and we can hit the fix here. So, if you want to get rid of this start recording section, you just hit fix. Um, oh damn. Okay, so you get pre-made effects on here. All right, cool. Um, I, I'm just gonna take all this shit off. You have a basic tone, and this is under the vocal amp. Okay, basic tone, reverb, pan, and volume. All right. Um, but I want to get out of this. I'm trying to work around this right here. So let's play this back one more time. We're gonna solo this and just hear the different audio quality. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no. No, 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 no. All right, cool. We're going to definitely auto-tune that motherfucker. So let's go ahead and put it through the spaces. <laughs> we already know that's uh, C minor. All right. And uh, we're going to put a heavy auto-tune on there. Hit save. Let it do what it do. Uh, I'm just very, 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 very surprised and impressed of the performance on this thing. 
All right, we're gonna hit play and see what the hell we got. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> all righty then all right cool cool so that that I, hey shit i'll take that all day right there so um that's pretty motherfucking cool yeah i mean if you're really serious and you can get some real good shit out of here um so no 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 all right, so we're going to clean up the audio real quick. Um, now, you do have some automation stuff um, here. So this little, um, this is your record enable button. So if we have this on, uh, I'm assuming it's going to pop up with this all the time. But if we turn that off and come back to it, it's still going to be there. Okay, so that shit is driving me crazy right now. But um, we're going to turn off record enable. We're going to go to automation. So if I wanted to automate this, let's see what we get. We get pan automation, we get sweeping automation, and we get volume automation. Three basic automations that you would need, and I like that. So let's say we're gonna draw a, a pan automation here, all right? And I wanna set a point here, and I wanna set a point here, and I wanna set a point here. So I wanted to travel from left to right uh, throughout the duration. So I'll go here, I'm gonna go up here, and then I'm gonna go down here, all right? And check this out. Watch the panning, or here the panning, uh, starting right here. <laughs> Okay, I didn't hear the automation and I don't see where the damn panning is happening at. Uh, let's see here. Let's play this back one more time. It should tell us right here. It's, this look like it's doing okay this look like it's doing i'm gonna delete that look like it was doing volume automation more than anything hmm. but it's checked off panning that's interesting you can play with that on your own time. I ain't got time to fuck with it. Um, but you know what I'm saying? You have those panning options. You see how easy it is. You just put the dots in there, click the dots in there, and you're good to go. Um, I, I, I operate with uh, uh, automation on a specific basis, and um, um, we're just going through a demo um, or anything like that. So what, what I was trying to do was um, go here, and we're going to add some effects. Um, so let's go and let's say we're going to add a, uh, a compressor here. All right, and we're gonna do uh, EQ. Okay, cool deal. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn that off there. Uh, I'm just gonna dial in some compression settings here. I'm gonna get this at a ratio of a five to one. Uh, we're gonna give a smooth knee, and uh, let's play that real quick. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. So this this particular compressor, you have your attack, your release, your ratio a knee and a threshold. The only thing you don't have is uh, a, a automatic gain um, function or output gain function. Um, it's already built in, so you already have automatic gain control once you bring down that threshold. So the more threshold you apply to the compressor, the more it's gonna adjust your auto, your output gain on the compressor. So I like that feature. I'm gonna turn on the, the EQ and uh, we're gonna EQ some shit out of here. All right, let's uh, go back here. So go back here. Oh yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. No, no. La 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 mm. The EQ I'm not a big fan of because you really don't hear what the EQ is doing. The when you're doing the high frequencies, you don't know what's 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 one point zero. You know what I'm saying? What's zero? You know what I'm saying? They're they're not really defined on the 
you're just gonna have to play this by ear, okay? I probably wouldn't use this EQ. I probably would go here and choose this. At least it gives you low, mid, and high. So let's try this EQ here. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Ooh. I ain't then want to add a filter to take out some of that low rumble. Now they give you, then now they give you frequency on the filter. <laughs> That's retarded. But, uh,. <laughs> All right, so we got a we got basically a effect chain here. All right, and uh, let's go back and hit that. Oh yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Now I want to put this. I want to put the compressor last, so you can do a swap. So you can drag this and move it different ways and whatnot. I like that. Uh, let's go back here. Okay, cool. Um, now let's say I wanted to do a reverb. Now they already have a reverb built in the home here. We'll set this at max and see what happens. No, 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 Damn, that's pretty fucking nice for one one knob reverb. I like that shit. Let's um, play that in. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. So word to wise with this particular program, you're probably going to have to make your adjustments while this is playing. So it's it's cool, it's alright, but um let's go ahead and choose um let's choose uh, a room and let's uh go with a rich plate. And bring the thick right right there. I'm assuming that this particular one knob is your dry weight mix knob. Alright, and let's just add a delay. All right, we got a mix knob right here in the timing. Let's uh, get the timing. We're going to turn on the metronome. If you guys don't know, the metronome is right here. So we hit on. I love the metronome sound. The metronome sound I really like. Okay, cool. I like that. Now, um, one thing I want to test is the panning. All right, so let's say I wanted to pan here. Oh yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. For some reason, I'm not hearing stereo. This is probably because of the um, the streaming and everything like that, but. Um, you could do panning right here. I'm gonna have to play with this offline, but you do have the ability to pan. It's probably because I'm in streaming mode. It's probably only mono that I'm listening back on. But um, you can pan, and I'm quite sure if you hit record here, um, you can uh, do panning automation um, as such. So if we go here, watch this, y'all. We're gonna do that right there. We're gonna go ahead and hit record. I'll check this out. Okay, so I, I stand correctly. It don't happen that way. <laughs> so uh, let's hit this. Oh yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. 
Yeah, I, I, I'm still not understanding the, the the automation and paying, but you have those options there for you, man. You can play around with it or whatnot. So um, that's that right there. Uh, of course, you see me hitting the, the headphone icon here. Um, that's for your solo, the solo, the track, and this is to mute. Uh, so mute is gonna shade out, solo is gonna shade out everything else and highlight the clip or the track that you're working on. Of course, you have an onboard volume button and you can turn on and off your automation. So that is the basic uh, effects right there for us, you know, uh, working with the tracks itself and the arrangement. All right, so if you're gonna record in this program, don't expect professional results. I'm just gonna be honest with you um, and stuff like that. You probably have to get, you know what I'm saying, record outside of this program. And then if you're gonna do some type of online collaboration tool uh, with other people, then definitely this will be a good item to, you know, saying import a acapella and, you know, saying start building around it or whatnot. Um, but I like this though, um, it's pretty cool. Um, the only thing I did not go through is this section, the sections at the bottom. Um, and that's add track So you can add a vocal track Which is probably going to get it set up for you to get straight in there to do vocal stuff um, You will get a piano track which is probably going to give you um, Piano and keyboard instruments, guitar and bass instruments, drum and beat instruments, guitar and bass amp instruments uh, Synthesized instruments, strings and brass woodwind So this basically is a preset track to get you started If you don't want that you know what I'm saying? You can make changes to it um, or whatnot. Um, this right here is again to access the loop. So you can access it at the bottom or you can access it on the side right here. Okay. Um, this is the pattern maker. So you can, you know what I'm saying? Uh, add kicks and snares and everything like that. And that's based off of what drum machine you use in here. So if you go to drums, you go to machines or kits or percussions or process sounds you can add different type of pattern drum kits here and do your thing thing this is the piano roll so this is what the piano roll looks like um and this is the instrument so if you're working with a drum machine um they're going to give you like this fake drum set and how it will look so if i hit a on the computer keyboard or on my computer uh, on my keyboard right here all right i found the that bottom C and I'm hitting it on the keyboard all right so if I was to go back and I wanted to add like a drum track to it and hit play so you know saying the MIDI response on the keyboard is spot on just like a DAW I like that uh, so that's that right there you know what I'm saying um, we're gonna try to put together a real quick beat I'm talking about 10 minutes less I'm gonna use some loops do some drum things simple shit and uh, we're gonna be up out of here now you can see when I hit record it forced the MIDI clip on the vanilla drum machine but we're gonna go ahead and take that off now how do you delete a track uh, I'm assuming these little three uh, uh, horizontal dots here um, you can duplicate the track Rename the track you can delete the track you can freeze the track now This is gonna freeze up some CPU. Let me give you some some game Chrome Browser use up a lot of CPU So if your track if your computer start fucking up and freezing up and glitching and everything Go ahead and freeze your tracks that you're working on that's already done um, And stuff like that. So if you already committed to the track and everything sounds good go ahead and freeze it Okay, go ahead and freeze it. It's gonna temporarily put an audio hold on it. That way, you know what I'm saying, you can be able to process more instruments and stuff like that, okay? You can import a MIDI file um, to this particular track or you can export this particular track. I did not know that. That's a good thing. So let's say for instance, all these tracks right here, you can export just this one track and you don't necessarily have to solo. So this, there is a back way, but it's not the way that I'm used to. I'm used to going in and, you know, saying exporting all the stems, but you can hit that uh, horizontal dots, the three horizontal dots and export this particular track, only this track as a wave audio, uh, wave audio file. And looks like you could change the color of the track as well. So see this little pink situation, we can go here, change the color and I want it blue. All right, go there and I'm quite sure that clip is blue now. All right, so that's how you uh, color uh, color categorize your tracks there. You can export, 
um, that drum track as a MIDI file or a WAV file. That's awesome. So let me tell uh, overall with what we did so far, this is pretty good. I ain't gonna lie for an online tool. If you on the road, if you're a truck driver, you you know you're touring, but don't want to bring all your equipment. Uh, online collaborative, you gotta fly out of town for business, and you want to keep your creative juices flowing. This this is the shit right here. I ain't gonna lie to you. This this got some potential, man. Um, but does it have beat making potential? We about to find that out here. Uh, last but not least, I told y'all about the master volume. You have like a little output meter. It ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? So don't expect too much from it. Um, look like you can adjust your cursor where it goes right here by dragging right there. You see this mouse cursor. You can drag your cursor there, or you can drag it here. You got your record button, your back, uh, return to zero. Uh, look like you have a rewind button there play and fast forward you can choose your key so i already know this is a c minor you can change the tempo or you can tap tempo now you hear that tempo check out what happens if you want this session to go this fast it's all, it was already at 100 that's a that's that bitch going what's with love it's gonna be like that so we're gonna put it at 109 all right, and we're gonna hit confirm. Now watch this track, it's gonna, it's saying audio adjustment, okay? You wanna adjust the audio, so basically you're telling everything in this particular project, adjust it, move it up nine beats. Originally it was at 100 beats, you can see it right here. It's changing everything, changing the tempos, doing all the, you know, the time, elastic audio type of stuff and everything, and um, everything is gonna play according to the 109. So, you know how Ableton Live, you can speed up something and everything adjusts, far as warping or elastic audio and all that other jazz right there this kind of does it but it analyzes everything so let it do what it do it's got 16 tracks it's going to take a little bit of while um but while that is working um we got one more thing to do and that's the gear wheel and then i'm looking at the time i got 30 more minutes uh, to get my shit straight i'm um, gonna make a quick little beat just to give you a sense of what the beat making process is and i'm gonna get up out of here and stuff like that man so um so far, so good, though, man. I, I like the track and everything like that. Um, I think it's awesome. I think this uh, particular um, program is pretty good as far as uh, what it does and everything like that, man. Um, I can't find a lot with this, man. Um, it's really, really good. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is uh, the monitoring aspect and also um, the automation. Uh, I'm not too fond of how they got it uh, going on in here. So... This is taking a while, um, so if you do make changes to the tempo, this is what's gonna happen. So you gotta make sure that your tempo is how you want it in the beginning. Otherwise, if you wanna go in and change your tempo, you might as well go grab you a cup of coffee, take a piss break, and uh, go smoke a joke, you know what I'm saying? Or smoke smoke a little champ champ um, or whatnot. So um look like it's stuck on, no, it's uh, at 95%. Okay, it's making adjustments now okay all right there we go all right so we're at 109 it changed itself uh, we're going to play it from the beginning and see if we hear any fast adjustments on the tempo Like that tip of belt. Hey. Yeah, I like that tempo better, to be honest with you. Um, so that's basically it right there on the tempo, the gear wheel. Like I said, you can change, you know, the sound of the, the click a track as far as the metronome. You can adjust the volume, how loud it, or how soft it is. Um, I have it loud like that because I made the change last night. And then you can change the two bar counting. And so if you're recording something and you see how when you record it'll go beep, beep, beep. Beep and beep, beep and ready and record and boom. You know what I'm saying? You could change that to a one bar or you could just turn that bitch off. That way when you hit record, you're ready to go. All right, so that's the gear wheel. That gear wheel is associated for the metronome. All right, we're done talking about the overall uh, aesthetics of uh, Soundtrap. I like what it is when it comes to audio recording and audio editing. That's what we did. Now let's talk about it from a beat standpoint and we're gonna get the fuck up out of here real quick. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exit out of here 
um, you see this little exit button right here you can exit out of here and it's probably going to ask me to save it do i want to save it yes you can no you can't it don't matter i'm just going to hit don't save we go back to the beginning but guess what it's going to save what i did you can always preview your stuff let's say you, you we did save this you can preview what you got so far so that was I, I'm, I'm assuming that it does automatic saving in the back end and everything like that so uh, that's what that is right there so we're gonna go ahead and just delete that real quick all right we're gonna delete that project we're gonna start something brand brand new no template nothing hit enter studio it's gonna do its thing I'm gonna hit music and what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna add a new track okay so nothing mm -mm, you know what I'm saying um but what i can do is we're gonna go to loop library okay we're gonna go to hip-hop and let's try to find something hip-hop-ish all right um uh let's go here and uh let's try to find some drums here or something So I'm just going to use this hi-hat. So if I like that hi-hat, I just drag it right here. You'll see this little gray box. All right, that's the tempo, 145. Now, if I wanted to play some drums, I can hit add track, and I'm going to go to drums and beats. And you see the, the, the metronome just kicked on by itself. But I don't want to use the vanilla machine. I want to go to kits here, and I want to... Try to get something here. Um, let's see what I can find here. Play around with these different kits. Let's get attitude here. Ooh. Uh, let me go ahead and mute my mic for a second. All right, cool deal. So I like that. I'm gonna use this Jetson made it, but I saw a kick here from this guy. And uh, let me see if I can find that motherfucker. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna go to hip hop here, and I saw a kick somewhere. That kick is yucky. Okay, let me do this. I think you can choose different kicks here. All right, cool. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add an effect here and I'm gonna boost up the low end. So we uh, got some hi hats already. So let's let me go ahead and mute my mic real quick. All right, cool deal. Um, so, um, 
that's that all right so we did a simple you know what I'm saying situation right there we could double click on that and we can go to the piano roll and now you can see what we did in the piano roll all right and if we go in you can zoom out tailor tailor your view and now if we hit play uh, we got it in loop mode so now we're going to hit play all right cool deal now selecting your notes you have this uh, thing you got an arrow tool you got a uh, a pencil tool to draw in your notes um velocity and you can trash notes all right or little midi notes or whatnot so in this case got to be real surgical of what you select and we're going to go ahead and quantize all right and right click in there and you can quantize it to 16 notes and let's see what happens and i already know this note right here needs to come back and um all right, let's, uh, uh oh, we got a velocity situation right here. See how that velocity is not all the way to the note. Um, so if we was to drag that velocity right there, oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. That's another one right there. So let's go ahead and uh, zoom in a little bit on that one and fix that. Uh, actually, I, I got it stuck on the velocity deal. So let's go to the arrow tool. There we go. Let's play it back right here. Uh, right there. There we go. All right, cool. So we got something. All right. Um, now, if you're making beats and everything, you're probably going to be, a lot of people are probably going to use um, some loops and everything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and try to choose something guitarish. Uh, let's see here. Hell to the no. Hell to the no. Let's go to hip hop. Let's just choose something from there. All right, so I don't know if y'all caught what I did, but I chose guitar and then I chose the genre of hip hop or I had hip hop and then guitar or whatnot. No, 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 I'm sorry. I chose guitar and then hip hop. And what it does, is it finalizes the loops for you. Um, that way you don't spend all day looking for shit. go ahead and put that in now I like that that's pretty cool all right so basically what I'm looking at is you got um the ones that have like the little notes on it that's gonna be MIDI clips or electric guitar or instrument that's already in the program um so the ones that look like a little wave file that's gonna be an actual audio loop so I'm gonna drag something else in there uh, a little bit later on uh, so basically that's what we got here but uh, I like that, but I don't like that. So let me go ahead and just delete that because I want to use the audio. All I'm gonna go ahead and just take out guitars and we're gonna start over again. Okay, that was the stumble on. I don't know what the fuck is that, but uh. We're gonna go back to this track here and uh. 
Let's go to the fix and we'll take down some of that low end. See how I'm EQing the, the mids? All right, cool. That's good right there. All right. Now, um, what I'm gonna do is just kind of like add a synthesized sound here. So um, let's go ahead and stop that. So this is a synthesized sound. If you want to choose your synthesized sounds in here, you got basic stuff, the uh, delay, uh, frequency response, resonance, reverb, pans, volumes, and everything like that. Uh, you can tweak these sounds if you want to. You go in here, you got two oscillators, some filter section, amp envelope, LFOs, and uh, output gain here. In this case, though, we're going to go to sense, and you can choose all these different type of categories to sense on. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to choose leads. I'm going to go explore. I'm playing on the keyboard, by the way. All right, I like that right there. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, I'm just gonna add a revert. And exit out of there, turn that volume down a little bit. And hit play. Let's go ahead and uh, just do that shit. I'm just gonna throw some shit together. Let's do that one more time. Let's do that one more time. All right, I did four bars. Let's see how this all plays out right here. So we're gonna trim up that MIDI to four bars. Going to the piano roll, let's see what happens. <laughs> all right, cool deal. Um, what we can do now is copy and then move our cursor right here to play. Oh, excuse me, paste. And uh, we got something right here. All right, and now let's just get a bass sound and uh, we'll be out of here, man. So um, in this case, in this regard, we can go ahead and uh, choose like a synth bass. I don't think they have, oh, they got 808s. Wait a minute, they got 808s. Shit. Choose this right here. Let's see what happens. Shit, man. Let me find out. Let's turn it down a little bit. Let's go ahead and uh, record that. Six, seven, eight. All right, cool, dude. Look like it's it's doing some auto quantizing for me. This is not bad to say that all of this is being done exclusively online. This is pretty cool. 
Uh, so here we go. Let's turn that down a little bit. Now, for all y'all producers out there that like to, you know, saying distort your 808s, let's 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 have some fun here for a second, and right? we'll get the hell up out of here. So we're gonna go to add effects. You see, there's nothing on the effect here uh, or on the track itself. Let's go ahead and do a little distortion. How about that? You're just gonna choose classic distortion. All right, so just bring up your distortion. This basic amplifier right here. And we can unsolo that. Alright, cool. I like that. Now let's say you you on the road and you you know saying you just try to get some shit done, you know what I'm saying? Um, you're in the hotel room and you got like 30 minute break or something like that. All right, and or you trying to learn how to make beats or whatever. Now you say, man, yeah, man, that shit fire, man. Yeah, bro, you know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta lay that down. You know, niggas be talking like that and shit like that. So, uh, <laughs> so what you're gonna do is just you will create a, a voice mic uh, track and uh, you can start recording. cool so that's just something i put together turn it down a little bit all right so um that's one little situation right there uh you want to do another one now this is probably gonna be a freestyle that i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and turn up the reverb on that um and just make sure that mic there and we just do a record here let's see here i'm talking about what it's gonna do we making beats and trap lab that's what we do uh i might have said the wrong thing but sound trap man that's gonna be the next thing all right cool deal and you don't necessarily have to have the loop record on because they'll keep on going, but uh, let's just play this back for shits and giggles. I'm talking about what it's gonna do. We making beats and trap now, that's what we All right, that's that reverb effect we have on there, so let's turn that shit down. We turn it down by right there and hit play. I'm talking about what it's gonna do. We making beats and trap now, that's what we do. I might have said the wrong thing, but soundtrap, man, that's gonna be the next thing. I'm talking about what it's gonna do. We making beats and trap lab, that's what we do. Uh, I might have said the wrong thing, but soundtrap, man, that's gonna be the next thing. I'm talking about what it's gonna do. We making beats and trap lab, that's what we do. Uh, I might have said the wrong thing, but soundtrap, man, that's gonna be the next thing. I'm talking about what it's gonna do. We making beats and trap lab, that's what we do. Uh, I might have said the wrong thing, but soundtrap, man, that's gonna be the next thing. I'm talking about what it's gonna do. We making beats and trap lab, that's what we do. Uh, I might have said the wrong thing, but soundtrap, man, that's gonna be the next thing. I'm talking about what it's gonna do. We making beats and trap lab, that's what we do. Uh, I might have said the wrong thing, but soundtrap, man, that's gonna be the next thing. I'm talking about what it's gonna do. We making beats and trap lab, that's what we do. Uh, I might have said the wrong thing, but soundtrap, man, that's gonna be the next thing. I'm talking about what it's gonna do. We making beats and trap lab, that's what we do. Uh, I might have said the wrong thing, but soundtrap, man, that's gonna be the next thing. I'm talking about what it's gonna do. 
We making beats and trap lab, that's what we do. Uh, I might have said the wrong thing, but sound trap, man, that's gonna be the next thing. All right, cool, man. So that's basically what we got right there, man. So uh, don't mess up together, man. The wrong thing, but sound trap, man. That's gonna be the next thing. All right, cool deal. Talking about. So that's what it is right there, man. Um, that is uh, sound trap. You know, what I'm saying how to work it, put things together real quick while you're online. So if I wanted to share that with someone, I'll just basically go over there to share. Um, if I know their account name, I'll just add their account name to it um, or add an email to send out an invite link to get in the session. Hey, hey man, come on, let's record. What you think I need to add to this or whatever the case may be. So that is uh, Soundtrap right there, man. Online music making tool uh, for the people that's new to beat making, music creation, and also podcasters out there. You can do a lot with this and I'm very, very surprised by the performance of this. I'm very, very surprised. It's not my cup of tea. I'm very well graduated from this type of workflow um, and stuff like that. But if you're just getting in and you want to learn beat making, audio recording, um, basic stuff or whatnot, this is really, really good tool. Um, and you don't necessarily have to invest into a high dollar software or high dollar equipment. You could just, you know, saying see, get your get your get your goddamn food seasoning first, and then when you're ready to put it in the oven, come holler at your boy, man. I will tell you what you need to get and everything like that, man. So I'm very surprised by this program, man. I, hey, man, I, out of a five, I recommend this as a 4.5 out of five um, for his, uh, sound creation to uh, soundtrack right here, man. So definitely go check it out at your leisure and stuff like that. Again, you know, saying the prices on soundtrap is not bad, to be honest with you, um, for us getting into this program. Um, so, you know, um, if we were to go back and look at the pricing <laughs> stuff like that man um again you know what I'm saying monthly pricing is probably your best option because you don't want to commit to this for a full year or if you do you know what I'm saying choose monthly or yearly but anyway it goes at the top tier you're going to pay $17.99 a month with taxes is going to come out to about $19 and some change and stuff like that um really good program man very rock solid um I'm on guest wi-fi at work it's not great but it's it's working really good. So if you're at home, you got high dollar uh, internet speed and stuff like that. I'm talking about that one gigabyte speed. You're going to be good. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't even go with a function of adding your own samples and sounds in here. So if you're doing outside collaboration and you need to add this in there. So if you did a half ass beat with somebody and uh, you want to put that beat in there to do some voiceover work, just to kind of get some scratch vocals down or add your little sizzle in there and stuff like that perfect program right here man y'all definitely go check it out man shout out to spotify for this shit right here man this is pretty goddamn good i think they own something right here um and stuff like that would i use this to replace ableton live or studio one or something like that or fl studio or logic hell to the non so if you already know how to work that shit continue using that shit <laughs> this is for the people that don't have any type of audio knowledge no type of music knowledge no type of nothing you know what i'm saying this is for the basic basic people that w can watch a video and they can pick it up and they just want to get something done this is for you and stuff like that kind of like people like my wife she swears she know how to make beats but can't Nah, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to turn her on to this and I'm going to turn you guys on to this as well. Spread the news about this sound trap and stuff like that. It's really good for people that's trying to learn how to make beats because I get people to tell me a lot, man, I want to get into beat making. I think I got a solution and a way to point people into check out soundtrap.com from spotify man you know what i'm saying this is it man this is your boy super mario man i gotta get the fuck up out of here man got a doctor's appointment to do and everything like that but um, we're gonna get shit cracking um back once again we done everything vacation is over with football season started and everything like that shout out to the saints man go saints you know what i'm saying yeah you know what i'm saying um <laughs> and everything like that man but i appreciate your time uh checking out this video and everything like that if you like this video and you think it serves your purpose as far as you being an intro beat maker you just getting into this and stuff like that i absolutely agree with this um soundtrack platform definitely check it out you know what I'm saying do the free trial um and stuff like that um it comes with an app for your iphone uh, not for android users right now so um definitely check it out you can be on the road you can be at work you know what i'm saying you sitting up there you hammering something at work you be like yeah uh, uh, and you need to add to that you can pull up your project pull out your phone and add a little verse 
talking, uh, 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 yeah. You come back home, you can finish it up and stuff like that. So I like what they're doing with that. Very, very awesome. Make sure you go check it out, man. Until next time, man, this has been your boy Super Mario Soundtrap demo right here. Um, I like it. I'm gonna tell my client, uh, I think we got something just to do scratch vocals and stuff like that um just due to the distance we're at um and stuff like that and until we can get in the studio to actually lay it down but we'll get a basis of where we need to be at um so you use soundtrap the way you need to use it if you're a podcaster if you're a voiceover vocalist um if you're intro to beats if you're a rapper and you can't afford studio time but you want to crank out some ideas this is for you all right, man, I'm out of here, man. Gotta go, man. But y'all stay blessed, stay creative. And as always, man, keep doing what you do, man. God bless you. And uh, peace. We up out of here, man. See you later. Yes, sir.